Here's the triangle that we were looking at in the last review. Uh, specifically, this is a symmetrical triangle, but note a couple of things. First of all, it's, it's reasonably large. Not massive, but it's still reasonably large in the concept of uh, daily ranges. Second of all, it sits below this line of resistance. Now, I'm all good and well for trading triangles, but never below a line of resistance. As I've mentioned many times before, especially a horizontal line of resistance, when we do get a secondary test, in this case, if we had broken to the upside, generally speaking, we would see a stall at that particular price. So best, uh, best practice is to await prices to break up through resistance and then find a triangle pattern or some other kind of consolidation pattern, but don't try and trade them when they're below a line of resistance like this one is. Now this one's broken to the downside as you can see here, and for all intents what that does is keep this broader range in place. So this broader range is actually part of a, uh, of a uh, flat corrective pattern, so wave A, B and up to wave C. So that's the flat pattern right there. You can see we've no, made no progress one way or another. We're stuck in the range. And generally speaking, we're still in the range, so we would expect prices to come down again, potentially to this point here at about 525.25. That's a wave equality of this little smaller ABC pattern. Now, I'll just take those off, and we'll just go back to the larger picture here. So there's the A, I'm sorry, up to the A, B, and the C. Then we have this ABC pattern down which will become a wave X and if that is the case and prices stall at this 525, 520 area where C equals A then potentially we may have a chance of trying to break up and through the upper end of this range. If however prices fall to the lower end of the range down around this 450 where the triangle target is then the secondary pattern is going to be more of the same, exact same as what we're seeing here. So that will be pretty frustrating. It's tradable for aggressive traders who like to fade into support, so buying against the support and placing a stop just outside of that level. You can see those that trade ranges up here would have been a seller into this right area right here with stops outside. I'm not sure whether or not they would have got stopped out on that little bit of movement. It just depends on how much room you do give it, but probably not. But that's what fading into or leaning against a line of uh, resistance or support. Same with back down in this lower area here. Uh, you know, you could have been a buyer down here with a stop outside, a seller up in here with a stop outside. And again, if we come down into this region doing the same kind of thing, it's not the way I like to trade, but certainly there are a number of people out there, especially a lot of professional traders, uh, day traders and that kind of stuff. That's how they trade against those kind of swings. So the thing we're looking for here, right here, right now, is whether or not prices will stall and turn around at around this 5, 525 area. If so, and especially if some buy and demand comes in, then we might try and see prices break back out to the upside and get a zigzag bullish pattern going on there. But if they do fall to the lower end of the range, I think we're going to spend the next six months in this 450, 650 range.